single thing I do is cool And you should worry when nobody's copying you oh. Hey, what's up you guys? It's the Tastemaker and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this cool little hairstyle that I did. Let me tell you, I have been recording this video for hours, bro, for hours. I started recording, girl, I don't even know. Like, I've literally been recording this video all day, like, honestly. From bleaching this hair, to plucking it, to coming up with one hairstyle, not liking that. Ended up doing a whole nother hairstyle, which is what you see now. And then going to stop to go get some food. Like, I have been recording for hours, even from, like, just doing my makeup. Like, I was trying to do, like, a new makeup look. I did, like, a dark eye. I don't even know if y'all can tell. Let me close my eyes in. Yeah, I just did like a dark eye today. I was just trying to play around with a whole lot of whole lot of. So I hope you guys appreciate today's hairstyle. Um, Cause girl, but yeah. So today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on Supernova hair and also showing you guys another way that you guys can style your lace front wigs. When you have a lace front, I feel like we style it in so many ways before we just like okay i'm kind of over it like i don't know what else to do in my hair so i just want to give you guys another option to have your hair back and out of the way because i mean like for me personally i don't always like a lot of hair in my face sometimes i do but i have to be in a mood for that so this is one of those slick looks it's like all the hair is behind you it's not super hot the hair is slicked up i got some braids popping um i know my braids are not like the same and the reason was because I had a different hairstyle at first and it made sense at first but now that I changed the hairstyle it's like you know whatever so yeah if you guys are interested in this hair tutorial and my thoughts on supernova hair then just continue watching hey y'all so we are about to completely transform well not really completely i'm being really dramatic right now um we are going to transform this wig now i already told you guys that i had this wig like a couple months ago and i wore it for a day and then i still wear this wig occasionally like if I'm running errands or something like that. So this is the wig right here. This is how it's looking. I just combed it out because I did have it like in a bag. So just wanted to make sure it's nice and fresh for you guys. So this is the part. I literally have not plucked this wig. I have not bleached this wig. I have not done anything to it. I put like a little bit of foundation underneath, but yeah, that's it. Um, so let me just show you real quick. This is the inside construction of the wig. As you guys can see, when a wig looks like this, it means that the knots are not bleached. So I do need to bleach the knots for today's hairstyle. This wig also still has the combs in it. So I have a comb here. And is there another comb? Okay, I have a comb on this side. So a comb on the sides. It has a lot of tracks. And then I have a comb in the back and it also has adjustable straps, okay? So the lace and everything has been cut off, obviously, because I've actually worn it before. I did a review on this hair previously and I really enjoyed the hair, but I wanted to wear it different. Um, cause I know anytime that you guys have like a wig after a while, like you only, you wear it in like a couple hairstyles and then after that, you just like, okay, what next? <laughs> I don't know what to do next. So I'm actually going to add some tracks to this hair. And I have a bundle right here. This is, this wig I believe is 24 inches and this hair right here is 24 inches. This is just left over from um, some other wig that I did, who knows when. So I'm just gonna literally take this bundle, boop, add it to the top of this thing. We're gonna have like a little ponytail like this. And then I'm gonna curl it up and she gonna be cute. So I'm gonna do that, um, but before we do any of that, we are gonna need to bleach these knots. So I'm gonna bleach the knots, and then I'm going to pluck the frontal, and then after that, then we'll go ahead and add in this hair, straighten the whole thing out, maybe curl it up, we'll see. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I almost forgot. Let me go ahead and put the wig on for you guys so y'all can see how the wig is looking, or whatever, just as is before we alter it. So we're gonna go from this. Where's my comb? Comb her out. I mean, it's just like a night. And this has not been flat ironed or anything. This was literally in a bag. 
like you know one of those plastic hair bags I just had it in one of those stored away but yeah the hair is still really nice and I mean like it's kind of tangled obviously because it's been just you know literally balled up in the bag but I mean other than that I mean the hair is still great it's clean um, I have washed the wig it's not like you know dirty or anything like that it just has a little bit of found a foundation because I did wear it out um, previously and then this is where the wig is hitting me like right before my waist I got a little toothpaste on my shirt but you know whatever so yeah it's hitting me pretty long and then the track or the bundles that I have it's the same color and it ends right around the same spot so but once I put it in a ponytail up top it's gonna be like this okay so anyway let's get started okay so one thing that I really like about this wig is that it actually is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. A lot of times companies said that they say that their wigs are lace fronts, but you really don't even have this much space. So I really like the fact that the tracks do start far back enough and you have enough room. On top of that, this these combs are not on the lace. A lot of times companies sew the combs onto the lace, which causes you to end up cutting holes into your lace front. So I really like the construction of this wig. It does have a really deep part as well. This looks like it may even be more than four inches um, all the way around, even back here. So you're able to do a lot as far as styling goes.
what you wanna do here? Bitch, I'ma float like Rubel. Still working on getting cool clear. Ain't got nothing much to shoot, girl. Red on the bottom, right there, read. Some shit, I'm out of her hand, read. Bitch, you ugly and bitch, you ugly. Both y'all hoes are scary. I don't wanna get married. Chick, you a bird, Perry. I ain't so good, be hoe like Big and Fat E. Sally. for the longest like I've literally been been recording for like four hours I'm not even lying to y'all I have been recording for four hours I'm so tired so let me just show y'all I ended up completely changing my hairstyle because at first I was gonna do like a ponytail but then I ended up doing like this little top knot thing so let me back up so y'all can see all of my hair so I ended up doing this and just having the hair go back so this is what it looks like from this side I don't know if y'all can see but yeah, I really like this hair. I mean, look how <laughs> supernova. Y'all already know what y'all doing over there. So before I finished doing my hair, my camera had ended up dying on me. And it's just been a mess. So I did little swoopy baby hairs right here. And then I put one of the hair piercings in. So I'm going to put the other one in. This one is a lot bigger than the normal ones that I use. And I just found this in my little hair kit. So I'm just gonna take this one and just stick it in somewhere right here. Boom, that's simple. And then you wanna make sure that you pinch it to close it. As far as like my bun, I literally just took my hair and wrapped it around the whole base. So this is not even difficult to do. You literally just wrap the hair around. So I'm gonna finish doing my baby hair on camera with y'all because this is more like complicated more than the other stuff so So yeah, you guys, this is the final look. Um, I feel like it's really simple to do, honestly. I mean, even though this hairstyle looks like super complicated just because it has a lot going on, I promise you, it is so easy to do. Super easy. I really, really like this hair though. I mean, you guys can see like the quality of this hair, what it's looking like, and it's like super silky. And I just have everything going back and down my back. Let me stand up so y'all can see that. There you go. 
And this hair, I've had it for months now, and this is a wig that I definitely wear. I usually just have it like in the middle part, and then I just press it out or whatever. But I hadn't like bleached the knots on this wig. I hadn't plucked the frontal or anything. So I did all of that today, and this is, you know, what I got with it. Oh, I absolutely love the quality of this hair. It definitely lasts you a really long time. Yeah, if you haven't tried Supernova hair, I would highly suggest to check them out. I mean, you guys can already see like the quality of this hair. It's some hair that lasts several months. And this is probably like my first like update or hair update video that I've done. Um, I rarely ever do hair update videos, but I definitely will start doing that. Um, and when I first wore it, I, I put like a scarf on it. I had just curled the bottom half and that was pretty much it. But yeah, this is like one of my personal favorite like lace front wigs because I like the fact that it has a lot of lace. Like, you know, a lot of times when they say it's like a lace front, it don't even be a lace front. It'd be like a little bit of lace and then a bunch of tracks that are in your waist. So you can't even do hairstyles like this on those wigs. But this one, I mean, you can definitely do any kind of hair so that you want i just wanted to show like how far you know the part went back if you are interested in this wig i will of course leave the link to this wig down below for you so you can go ahead and check it out supernova is definitely one of the wig companies that are on my top 10 list as far as like hair is concerned i really really recommend this hair it is so soft it is so just like it's like running your hands through velvet like it's just really soft silky it's just good quality hair and it's definitely instagram worthy because you wear this on instagram they're gonna be like girl where you get that hair from period but yeah y'all i gotta go i gotta post this look on the gram you feel me so everybody can know what's happening with my hair today um i've been trying to just be as creative as possible with my hairstyles so you know my hairstyles will get even weirder and weirder and more outlandish so just bear with me. It's just because like I don't want to do the same look all the time. I feel like a lot of people who do review hair, they stick to like a couple of hairstyles and then that's it. Like they're kind of like, oh, okay, we've seen you do that before. We've seen you do the middle part with the baby hair before. We've seen you bleach the hair before. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just like after a while, okay, we've seen you do the side part with the curly hair. It's like, okay. But after a while, like that kind of stuff, to me, it gets boring. And I think like it's important, especially as a creator to make sure that you're staying true to the game and being creative with your hairstyles so i like to do crazy stuff i like to do things that i feel like i'm not gonna see everywhere a lot of people are not gonna walk around with their hair like this i feel like if i walk into a room people are gonna stop and want to ask me about my hair um whether they like it or not it's still something that you know is going to make people stop and stare Ooh. i love my hair I i'm in love with it I ain't gonna lie.